Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland, and welcome to my series of short videos on problem solving techniques. In video number 13, we'll take a look at the weighted scoring model. So first off, what is the weighted scoring model? Well, when you're prioritizing requirements, it is sometimes useful to be able to rank these requirements according to a predetermined scale. So a weighted scoring model is a tool that will give you a systematic process for prioritizing requirements based on several criteria. So you're looking for some balance in determining the priority of the requirements that you have gathered. When you are weighting criteria for the requirements, here's a list of eight criteria that you might find useful. Value, risk, difficulty, success, compliance, relationship, stakeholder, and urgency. So what we want to be able to do is to look at each requirement that we have gathered and assign a percentage or a score for that requirement according to each of these criteria. And then we want to look at add it all up to see which one, which requirement has the highest priority and down along the list to the requirements that have the lowest priorities. So to try and understand what we mean by weighted scoring model, let's take a look, look at a very simple example. In my table here, I've got three criteria, criteria X, Y, and Z, listed on the left-hand side. And over on the right-hand side, I've got three requirements, requirement A, requirement B, and requirement C. So what I'd like to be able to do is assign a weight for each criteria, and then assign a score for each requirement based on those weightings, add them all up, and look at the total. So let's see how we do that. So creating a weighted scoring model allows you to first assign a percentage weighting to each criteria. So we can see here the criteria X has a percentage weighting of 50%, Y 30 and Z 20%. Now we can change these around and generally speaking you'd look to get a consensus of opinion among your team or with your group. Uh, whatever you do, the total must add up to 100% uh, as you see here. And then we want for each requirement uh, to assign a numerical value out of 100 uh, for each requirement. And then we want to calculate the weighted scores based on these. So what we have here is, for example, for criteria X, in requirement A, I'm assigning it a score of 70 out of 100, requirement B, 45 out of 100, and requirement C, 40 out of 100. And then it will go to a similar exercise for criteria Y, and finally for criteria Z. So I don't just simply add these up, I need a formula to work these out. So what I do here is, uh, we calculate the weighted scores by multiplying the weight for each criteria by its numerical value and adding the resulting values. So you can see here that the total score of 55 for requirement A is made up of 50% multiplied by 70, uh, the weight of 30% multiplied by the score of 40 for requirement A, and the weight of 20% multiplied by the score of 40 for requirement A again. And we tot this up and we get a value of 55. And we do the same for requirements B and requirements C. And we can see at the end of this exercise that requirement B comes out with the highest weighted score of 64. Requirement A comes in second at 55, and requirement C is the weighted score is the lowest at 39. So we can see that requirement B is the highest priority and that requirement C is the lowest priority. If we do this in a spreadsheet, we can change the scores. You can look and maybe sometimes you look at scores in ranges rather than exact scores to try and get a balanced view of each requirement based on your list of criteria. Now let's take a look at a second example, a more real example, using the eight criteria that I mentioned earlier. And these are listed down along the left hand side. And in this particular example, I have five requirements, A, B, C, D and E. And so I first work out a weighting for each of the criteria that adds up to 100% in total. So for example, you can see that I have value and risk both weighted at 20%, and further down the list, compliance and relationships weighted at 5%. And over in my requirements, I go through each criteria, and once again, for each requirement, I assign a value out of 100 for, uh, to give it a score. So for example, according to the value criteria, requirement A has a score of 80 out of 100, whereas at the lower end, requirement D has a score of just 15 out of 100. So I do this for each of my criteria. And when I've come up with a score for each of the requirements based on each criteria, I then multiply the weighting by each score to give me the totals along the bottom that you see here, according to the formula that I used on the previous slide. And once I've done this, I can see in this instance that requirement B with a weighted score of 60 has come out with the highest weighted score and is therefore the requirement with the highest priority. We can look down the list and we can see the requirement A comes in second at 
requirement E at 52, and requirement C at 43. These are the descending order requirements, right down to requirement D with a weighted score of 38. It has the lowest weighted score and therefore is the lowest of the five priorities for each of these five requirements that you see here. Great care should be taken when assigning weightings to the criteria for assessing each requirement. Prioritization of requirements can be based on many different criteria and establishing what these criteria are can be the subject of debate within project teams. Further debate can ensue when assigning weightings that you see here to each of the criteria and also when setting a score. Consensus and consistency are vital to ensure best practice when using the weighted scoring model. If you found this technique useful, this technique, along with many others, are covered in my new book, An Introduction to Business Systems Analysis, which is about problem-solving techniques and strategies. It's published by the Liffey Press and available at Amazon.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.